Gemini, welcome to your mid-February 2021 general tarot update. It's Raina here. So before I continue, I had to start over because I was trying to adjust my camera and it just disconnected me. So I was doing that. And uh, one of the reasons I was doing that is because I would love for you to be able to see the cards like much more. Uh, but I do hold them up, so that should be good enough, but I did get a comment from someone recently that they couldn't see the cards, and it was like this. Um, you know, I know that there are certain types of extensions to the tripod that can do that, but I haven't really explored those options. I'm kind of working with <laughs> my current tripod, which I just got, and I'm so grateful to even get something that was halfway decent for the price. So, Hopefully it's good enough and I'll keep trying to um, find better ways of filming. Um, what I was saying before I got so rudely interrupted by myself is that uh, there was a new moon in Aquarius yesterday and that was in your ninth house and that is a very expansive energy where you have... Um, I was going to say unprecedented amounts of planets in one house. That might be exaggerating a little bit because you've had uh, this before, but not for many years. So this area is really featured um, for you. And if you're enrolling in college, if you are planning a trip, if you are, you know, planning to maybe even go as far as moving or, or studying abroad, um, or working abroad, these kinds of things can be uh, right on time for you at, in 2021. So just uh, keep that in mind. So the heart of the matter is the Four of Cups. This is a card of dissatisfaction with something or someone. Somebody is trying to, you know, lure you in, reel you in, but you're not having it. Uh, maybe this it's too little too late perhaps somebody was neglectful with a relationship for many years and now you're not interested now the typical thing that we would think about is a marital partner or a you know significant other but it certainly could be a parent even if you didn't have contact with a parent and all of a sudden they want to get together with you so much and you're like why now what do they want what you know you just think in terms of that and maybe your emotions have kind of gotten to a place where you are indifferent to their to their advances their gestures of love or um you know i was going to say love but it could be just like their friendly gestures it it no longer moves you and in some cases may have even crystallized into, um, you know, a heart, a hardened heart. And there might be circumstances where they, they have done something that is egregious enough where you have um, every right to feel strong emotions against them. However, the question is, how does that impact your life as a whole, you know, to have these feelings? I do feel, though, that this is more like indifference. This is not necessarily like full-blown um, intense emotions because the, the um, expression on this person's face is indifference. Like they know they've moved on emotionally in some way. In the past position, we have the Six of Pentacles. This is a card of give and take. Uh, also a card of inheritance. Well, I felt like that was something that I was thinking in my mind. I don't know why, if, if I'm even imagining things. But um, that, that can be a situation where if you had to pay out to that other party like let's say it was a divorce situation and they were able to sue you or something like that and they tried to put you through the ringer 
and now they're coming back and they want, you know, with love and appreciation. And you're like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? After all you did to me, now you want this. So that can happen. And let's say it was an inheritance issue and perhaps um, you got screwed over in some way and the other person just wants you to forget about that and just move on. Why are you thinking about the past? And um, the reason that you're thinking about the past is because you feel like it's it's not... Um, it's kind of like symbolic of other things in the relationship. It's not just about an inheritance. So that might not have been something that you thought about before, but now you are thinking about it and you really do feel that way. You feel like that person um, didn't have respect for you in that situation. And so it kind of made you lose respect for them or lose feelings for them the way that you had before. And even with family members, even, I mean, even with parents or step parents, this can occur where you had a certain relationship and you, maybe you thought it was a fairly good one. And then something like this happened and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't see that side of them for many years. And now, now that I see what they're capable of, it's like indifference. I just don't, I don't feel the same way when they try to invite me to you know come over for dinner or whatever i just don't feel it or if a partner does that the higher message is the five of swords this is a card of uh, infidelity can be slander um and this to me when i get this card i think about the narcissist who is um kind of making the rounds and perhaps poisoning the well uh, with other people and those kinds of people um, are very destructive so if you have this person in your life and you have no interest in getting back with them you're going to have to expect that they're going to become enraged and they're going to you know tell everybody what a bad person you are and you have every right to uh, defend yourself if somebody comes to you with that with lies about yourself you have every right to say no but you don't have to get in the drama of it you can just say no that's not true and you you correct what's true but you don't have to just um complain about that other person um you know you can treat that person like they are part of your past and not get sucked into it because that can be part of why they do what they do is they're trying to uh, suck you back into some kind of negative um, drama or cycle because that's what they do. That's how they generate the, this negative energies to, in order for them to, um, you know, have control over others. What crosses you is the Queen of Swords, and this can be about needing to make a decision but not doing so uh you know this could even be like a friendship where you always maybe you always pay for dinner or you always are the one who call is the one who calls that person and you just got fed up and you stopped doing so and then they started pursuing you and with that five of swords, it can be something like, you know, this person, maybe they envy you. And so they put you down behind your back in order to feel better about themselves. And you have to make the decision um, to let that person go. But perhaps it's not that easy. You feel a certain... Um, loyalty or reluctance maybe you can sense that they are sense that they are sensitive and you're afraid of hurting their feelings uh there's a a saying that my partner told me he said never let them know that you've broken up with them and that that's i think that's a really good one because you know rather than making this grand statement and oh you you never were my friend and all this stuff you just kind of like ease out of their lives life whether it's a partner a friend 
a parent, you just ease out their lives, life, um, gradually, uh, and just stop calling them as often, stop, you know, whatever it takes uh, so that it, it, it gets less and less frequent. What is coming in is clarity, the Ace of Swords, mental clarity. Uh, you are swords being an air sign, and so this helps you to chart a new course. But in doing so, um, it's coming from a place of knowing what you want. When I found out that Gemini was a sign that's associated with having difficulty making decisions, um, you know, that really surprised me because I always thought that was Libra's territory. But yes. I can kind of see now in a similar vein with Libra that it's really about having such a um, varied way of looking at life that uh, you can see different possibilities. You're not just tied to one possibility. And, um, and yet, sometimes you have to know when something has run its course and be willing to let it go. So I picked a card for the outcome. I picked an additional card because of the nature of this card. Uh, the Eight of Swords is a card of feeling uh, trapped, and I would say trapped by negative self-talk, trapped by, um, you know, not maybe in a certain case, if you do not take action, like the Queen of Swords is suggesting that, you know, you're very um, undecided. Um, and the Ace of Swords um, can be um, gaining that clarity, but maybe still not taking that, uh, making that, that decision. You could be second guessing yourself. Another thing too is if there's some kind of dispute with a will, and of course we're in Mercury retrograde, so... Um, for sure, those kinds of things can, you might even have, um, that in your sub, your eighth house, which is, um, you might have some of Aquarius in the eighth house. Um, but in any case, that can lead to a lot of, um, back and forth when there's maybe somebody trying to be uh, deceptive intentionally in the family and you might have a mother or mother-in-law in the queen of swords who is not really acting very kindly who is who is being very um sharp in her speech and she's just um a negative character and she may be um instigating you know coordinating things so I picked an additional card. I got the three of pentacles. I think this is good for coming to a consensus about money. Um, the number three is the number of teamwork, you know, getting together like that. And I feel like uh, it's in the upright position. It's in pentacles. So that scenario would be really great. Um, if this is a workplace situation, you may not be... Um, very well, very connected with coworkers. There might be this um, feeling that they are sa sabotaging you behind the scenes. And I can see you, you know, being made aware of that in some way and being able to enlist other people that you can work with in a, a good manner. And maybe um, this is going to mean a new job or just simply within the company re being reassigned so that you're not with the same people. So maybe you find a new group of people who have more, uh, you have more compatibility with. Okay, Gemini, that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonated in some way. If you would like a private reading, um, and you like astrology, that's most of my readings. I do private tarot readings as well, but I mostly do astrology readings, and you can find out the types of readings I do by clicking on the link below. Take care. Bye.